that's not normal to have. And the box the, the guys got was fucked. Right. So we're like, maybe like DHL like, you know, dropped it and replaced the box or you know what? I don't know. It was, it was a different corner each time. Um, no, it was about the same corner. Okay. <laughs> right. I don't, I don't like, actually I don't really answer that question. But, but it's just usually one corner with a with the top just snapped off on the bolt also. So it's like, like I don't I don't understand how that happens without tremendous force. And then yeah, the last uh, question I'll ask uh, briefly is if uh, someone someone with some engineering schools but or some engineering skills but a full time job maybe they've got twenty five hundred dollars around or something like that and they want to work with some of this technology and some of these uh, things that you're doing um, what's the best way to uh, to sort of get involved? What would you recommend? Mm. Um, what's really interesting about IC, like I can tell the story of like Fright Hat, like um, you know Asicfire, they're a bunch of like PhD chip designers and and they they worked on like design, right? And the only reason like they didn't deploy as fast, not that I'm bashing for anything, it's just that they didn't like have like a hardware people. They just, you know, were missing that so it took them a little, a little longer to deploy. It. But um I think the biggest like blockade or entry level to IC isn't isn't like knowledge. It's more like how do you find a foundry to even take your chip? Like, <laughs> the the thing is is like all the foundries, all the chip makers, all the IC, they deal with like cell phone chips, they deal with like, you know Apple and all these like like you know router chips. Like they make like hundreds of millions of chips. Like if you're if you're trying to make like a few hundred chips, they, they don't even talk to you. They're like why how can like try to sound the count with them is almost like impossible. We'd have to pull so many strings to get the SMZ on board, we probably wouldn't have. So it's like one of those things that's gonna, you know, block IC, especially if you have to use their libraries for their foundry, like if you were to make a chip with them, then you have to get their libraries and kind of like, you know, fit your design onto their spec, like if, you know, that's their voltage levels and all of this stuff. You could learn a lot about general IC. I suggest starting like buying an FPGA and play with it, if you really want to like, you know, just, Learn about VHL and all that stuff. I was going to buy some of their chips and play with them and work with them. I mean, take a basic electronics course. I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't know what. Like, if you if you didn't do any like you know IC or or electronics design before, then I really suggest you start playing with some of the to just understand like you know what the relationship between like you know all these things are. But, we, we, we have all the reference designs, so you can kind of like play with it. Yeah. I'm curious why you're here in a public sense. So many of the community members that are not only developing ASICs, but also just dealing with Bitcoin are keeping themselves anonymous and trying to hide their own identity. Um, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't, I wasn't, I wasn't in the, in the, you know, key to like, just like, oh yeah, I'm good. I mean, there, there are some dangers relating to that. Like, a lot of people think that I made a lot of money, especially in China. So, so like, we're, we're looking at some security issues, you know, we're dealing with that somehow, and, and that's been okay. But in, in general, I just know that, like, like again, going back to the story, we're, we're in the cab ride, we're just like, holy crap, like, anybody, especially now, like, for example, like, we're, we, have, we have literally a billion dollar industry secured by less than a million dollars of hardware. That's ridiculous. <laughs> wow. And we're, we're sitting there going like, wow, if somebody, like any IC company actually was like call up on this, like, you know, there was a bunch of press about Iowa in early February, and they actually sat down and said, oh, this is cool, we could, you know, make some money or, you know, like, whatever. If they started around the time they heard about this, this ASIC thing, they should be done by, like, August and September. So I actually expect, like, you know, privatized ASIC or whatever. Like, and they might even have now. We, we can't really know. And then there, there might be some people, somebody with like a lot more hash rate than we imagine. And that's always scary to me. Like, but at the same time, like I see kind of well knowing that, you know, the, the most easy that pushed out was me and not somebody else. But on the same token, it's like anybody else could have more than 50 or, you know, 100% of them right now. And I think that's what people need to remember. It's like, we're, we're not as safe as we think, but at the same time, the only way to prevent this is to raise towards the pinnacle of basic technology as quickly as possible we can, which is going to take maybe like two two and a half years if we just non-stop and going through liberations and reaching 17 nanometer, which is going to be ready on commercialization by uh, 2014, 2015. And once we hit that, like, you know, theoretical, well, commercial, applicable, you know, blockade, then we can say, oh, until the next 
generation comes out, then we're kind of okay with not being. You know, and then and then another thing is that once you reach like I think 40 or 32 nanometers, the the magnitude of uh, you know Moore's law kind of starts applying. Like you're, you're looking at like 2x, 4x, as opposed to like we're well, really looking at like 50x or 30x. Like that's that will stop, which will be perfect. I just wanted to thank you. Uh, I, I, for the way you're doing this, uh, you, you have all that power in your hands and you're doing it the right way. And I really appreciate that as a minor.